I want to show the process of converting a test that you've previously made into a Google form that will grade itself and give you access to student scores that you could possibly use in order to inform what your next lessons might be, especially any uh, post test lessons. So here I am in my Google Drive. Now I'm also going to go to Google Forms. I'm going to create a new one down here in this right hand corner. So for our purposes here, testing a test, I'm just going to name it. You can see in the top left hand corner, when I click up there, it gives it the name. Up here, I can give the student directions, but I'll show you how that I do that in a second. Down here are the generated questions. In order to make this a quiz, let's first go in these settings and, and take care of a couple of things. I'm going to go over here to the right, and I'm going to make this a quiz. If you turn on this lock mode, respondents aren't allowed to open tabs or other while taking this quiz. Turn that on, if definitely, um, might as well, especially if they're using a Chromebook. Uh, release the grade. I like to release it immediately. Uh, if there's a reason that you don't want to do so, you may hit later. I like, I don't necessarily want them to be able to see the missed question. They can see the missed question, but not the correct answers. I mean, because the next class might be coming in. I don't want to give them the answers to that test and they can have the point values. So I hit save, coming back to my settings. Um, all of this is taken care of because of the uh, performance, or I'm sorry, the uh, section over here where you locked locked mode. That's what it was called. Um, I do like to do the show progress bar, and I'd love to shuffle the question order. That way they can sit right next to each other, and if they look over and see that someone answered B, uh, their question three might be their neighbor's question seven. So I hit save. Obviously, you can come up to the top here and change the color scheme. You could choose images to put in the back. Uh, you could create your own. I'm gonna go with a stock one right here, just to make it a little bit more visually appealing. Obviously not necessary. Now, here's the important part. You spent all of this time creating these quizzes and these tests, okay? So I'm gonna just type in tests, but you could type in call of the wild test. You could type in the specific name of the test. So I have the call of the wild test sitting right here ready. Uh oh, it's a Microsoft Word document. So how the heck do I deal with that? Well, I can either open up Microsoft Word if I can, or I just open that Word document up as a Google Doc. I'm not worried about the formatting changing because I'm just switching everything over to a Google form anyway. I'm gonna scroll to the first page. This is generally what my vocabulary tests looked like when I was teaching. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep clicking back and forth. Here are my directions. I'm just going to copy all this information, right click, copy, I'm going to go over up here to the description and there are my sections, there are my directions. Now the important part, if I go to my question number one, I'm just going to select this right click copy I'm gonna go over here here's my question number one right click paste questions already in there I want to make it a multiple choice but as you can see there are many different options now what about all four of these well they're already set up so I'm just gonna highlight them right click and copy and then I'm gonna click in here right click and paste there's my four. I'm going to say that the question is required because they have to answer it. I'm going to go down to answer key and I'm going to make this worth two points. Done. Now, in order to go to my next question, all I have to do is select add question. I go back and I just repeat this process a couple of times. There's a couple little tweaks you can do to make it a little bit faster. Uh, I think the more that you copy these over, the faster it'll get for you. And I think those are little tweaks that you have to find yourself. But you can see this is multiple choice. I'm going to make it required. I'm going to give it an answer key. I'm going to hit two points. You could do that for each one.
right click copy if you hit control C it'll also copy on a PC and see I messed up there I I must not have copied it right so I'm just going to delete that and go back oh that's why put the answers in the question right click paste and because it's digital going back and changing some things is rather quick all right I'm gonna make it required go to answer key hit done there's my three questions now in order to send it uh, what the, what's great is you can send it to their emails but since we'll be utilizing Google classroom uh, the students go walk in during the class they walk in see in the board it says log into Google classroom click on the link begin your test they click on that link they get their test they submit it and you will be able to see all of their responses here in this section. That is how you convert a test from a Microsoft Word document and or a Google document into a, into a form, Google form, so that it'll grade it for you. It'll jumble the questions for you. Uh, it'll ensure that the students can't cheat. Uh, all of those things will be available to you. Uh, I spent a good part of a year at some point really transferring all of my tests over i did find it handy to have paper tests just in case students were not permitted to be on computers for a certain reason or if uh, the computers went down i still had physical copies of the test uh, and or if students needed to be moved or they didn't have their charger for their laptop it was always good to have five or ten of the physical copy tests handy as well